Hi there. So uh, welcome. Come on in. Uh, welcome to my house or my parents' house. 28-year-old Neve works in education. She can't afford to rent or buy even a small place. I would like to maybe move in my partner or like do something like that and, and that's just not an option really. There's different decisions of life being put off or kind of taken into consideration about how that would work because your house is your base and if you don't have a base then it doesn't make sense to make decisions. Hello. Her brother will soon finish university and wonders about the future. I live in a home. Oh, very good. I'd like to live in Ireland if I can. If I can't then, yeah. Yeah. Time, time to try somewhere else. In Ireland, two-thirds of under 30-year-olds still live with their parents. It's one of the highest rates in Europe. Oh, yeah. Neve lived abroad before the Covid pandemic. Yeah. She's considering moving overseas again like some of her friends. Yeah. I'm staying here and I want something to change. Whereas it's, it's easy to say, like, I'm going to move and get something better somewhere else. Staying is harder. <laughs> The home is in Enfield, a small town 40 kilometres outside of Dublin. The fields where Neve used to play growing up have been replaced by houses. The area is attracting more and more commuters, with property prices soaring in recent years. The housing crisis hits both rural and urban areas. In a Dublin suburb opposite a petrol station, this flat has a new tenant. We put it on the market there a couple of days ago and we have over 800 inquiries for the property. We can't advertise a property over the weekend because we would have thousands of email inquiries. In 10 years, the rent for this one-bedroom flat has gone from 900 to 1,600 euros a month. Where it used to be single occupants, now it is mostly couples. And sometimes we do get applications in from small families. It's heartbreaking, and that's being honest with you, to see the desperation in the people that are looking for accommodation. We need about 45,000 units on an annual basis. That's for young couples that want to move together, people that are separating, that are trading apart, want other properties, and also people that are moving over to Ireland because it's very desirable to live and work here. So they're all coming over, but we have not met the demand in the last number of years. Ireland has been attracting a number of companies and high-tech giants. Housing for employees is critical. Estate agent Ronan Crinion has a place to show us. The next road over, OK, if you want, it only takes one minute to drive. It's a very large development of site and there's planning permission for hundreds of houses. The site with its protected buildings will undergo a major facelift. That was the residence for uh, the nuns that lived in the convent, OK, and worked in the hospital. They're going to move the hospital elsewhere because we're developing hospitals in Dublin. There are a number of religious grounds on the fringes of this part of Dublin, so they're all going to be developed over the next decade or two. The 19th century chapel will be surrounded by new apartment blocks, including some social housing. Despite the lack of affordable homes, the Irish Property Owners Association wants the end of rent control that limits to 2% annual rent increase in designated areas. They say it discourages potential landlords. Crinion disagrees. Rent control is good, all right, because uh, there's a percentage of landlords that are greedy and they will move the tenants out to get a higher yield, and that's all they want. They don't think of the tenant or the occupant and wishing that they live happily ever after at a rent that will increase on an annual basis. A housing commission set up by the government calls for a radical strategic reset. It says there's a deficit of over 250,000 homes in Ireland. According to the report, the state also needs to step in building more social housing and rely less on the private sector. First-time buyers are struggling to enter the market and affordable housing must be a priority 